What is up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And we are exactly four weeks out, and today I reached a new low weight of 116.4 kilos, so we're going nicely on track with the increased cardio, the combination is going to create something incredible. Anyway, I'm at the attic again, so we are going to do some cardio right here as you can see got some dextro because you know last time a couple of days ago didn't really go that well with the low blood sugar if you want to know exactly how that went check out my previous video but um, yeah we're gonna do half an hour of cardio uh, then do the posing picture for the coach then have breakfast and then actually go to a posing clinic in uh, the old gym I used to train at when I was starting out and uh, the official NPC Netherlands Posing Clinic, which I'll be running for Classic Physique and Bodybuilding. So, let's go. I'm not gonna be long about this, but ever since I uh, told my story, I've gotten a lot of positive, encouraging messaging. Of course, lots of people telling me to watch out, look out, stuff like that, but that's normal and it's just incredible, guys. Um, I really wanna thank you for the incredible support. Like, for example, on normal days you open Instagram, you get a couple of DMs, but now there's been floods of DMs of people out of the blue just, you know, supporting me, encouraging me. And I'm sitting here right now about to measure my blood sugar level before I'm doing the cardio because I just had my liter of water and that's the first step before doing the cardio, but now this step has been added. Uh, measuring blood sugar levels, so let me show you. So here we have it. Here we have the strips that the blood needs to go on. This is the device itself, and this is the pen to prick your finger. So let's just make it work. All right, now that's a great level, as you can see. Just prick my finger, use the, uh, the pen, and this is a strip. So that's a re really great safe level to start the cardio session with. And uh, yeah, now we are more sure nothing weird or dangerous is gonna happen. Knowledge is power. <sighs> All right guys, just hit, uh, you can see, 45 minutes fast cardio. Uh, quite a heavy pace, quite a heavy resistance. We gotta get the tractor fed off. Weight is still around 150 and a half. I think we need to go to 110. Obviously, bodybuilders use compounds that will hold water weight, and for me, you know, the last two to one week out, you lose a lot of water weight, so that's also a factor to take into account. But I think around 110 on stage, I'll be looking very full, very great, a uh, good combination of both. Anyway, now it's time to do some posing for the coach, take pictures, selling to him, and see if there's any changes, but the diet, has already been decreased uh, from yesterday to 2200 calories on a workout day and 2100 on a rest day, so pretty low already. Alrighty guys, we are now on our way to the gym Van Drunen. As I mentioned, it's the original gym I used to train at, but we're not going to train there. We're going to give a posing clinic. And that's another name basically for opposing lessons I'll be giving to a group of bodybuilders. So it's going to be bodybuilding and classic physique for about an hour, maybe a little more, to really give them a very good workout in posing. Pretty much more to experience how difficult it is to pose for a long time, to get them to know, okay, I gotta take this seriously, and that's really what this is for. And it's for the uh, official NPC, the Netherlands organization, so it's not just something that I'm organizing, but actually they are organizing it, and they always ask me to help them out, which I do. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna be driving a little more, and then we'll see you at the gym.
Alrighty guys, we are now at the gym. And before going to the gym at home, I had 40 grams of a pre-workout shake. It's just whey isolate, so this is Vayu Final Protein. Just whey isolate, no more cream of rice pre-workout because the coach has lowered the diet quite a lot. A lot of carbs have disappeared. So what is then very important, this only provides the anti-catabolic effects and the anabolic effect of the protein itself, but you also need some energy, right? So we use for that the pre-workout supplements, always nitro and nootropic. This combination, maximum pump and maximum focus is all you need to get through a chest workout we're going to do today. And now the intra workout has also changed. So normally you saw me putting all kinds of powders in there, but right now it is very simple. We simply have one shaker cup, but we are using a very new delicious flavor by mTOR, cola cherry. So cherry cola, all of you guys know what that is, but now it is an EAA form. So I take 30 grams intra-workout alongside a little bit of salt and two capsules of L-carnitine and that's it. So no carbs intra-workout either. So Carbs are most responsible for the energy, but also the pump in a workout. So if you can't get a pump from the carbs, you need to get them from somewhere else to get a really good workout in. So that's why I like to use nitro for the incredible pump, Com combined with, of course, the salt in the intro workout as well. And that is all we need to get this chest workout going. So let's get to it. All right, the first movement, a very simple yet effective one in the flat chest press or just the horizontal chest press. This is a nice one. The handles are wide, but they converge to the inside, allowing me to really squeeze the chest. We're gonna warm up at least four or five sets first because I can, I'm pretty strong at this one. So the stronger you are, the more warm up sets you will have. So I'm gonna be warming up until the working sets. And from there, we don't need a lot of warm ups on the other movements, but let's go. The warm ups will now be 25 kilos on each side. Each time we do a warm-up set until we reach the working set weight, which I know because it's exactly what we're logging in the phone. Trust me guys, data is knowledge and knowledge is power. When you're a bodybuilder, I'm staying way fuller than before because I know exactly how strong I was at the beginning of the prep and now I'm still as strong as then. So that will cause a lot of fullness and muscle retention. By the way guys, one very easy method to get your meat up, so non-exercise activity thermogenesis is by actually doing walking throughout the day and especially walking throughout the workout. In between sets, we need to rest from the previous set. Just walk around the gym, get your steps up by like 2,000 steps without even noticing it, without it impacting your recovery, your fatigue. So just walk around and burn calories at the same time without doing any, any other effort. In prep, when you increase weight above your previous record, what you have to keep in mind is correct form, full range of motion, always focus on the stretch, but most of all, stay above those eight reps. Going below the eight reps is just too much of a risk for injury. You're not used to this weight, so small weight increments, focus on form, and make sure to do enough volume to warrant that weight. I think this is going to be the last workout where I'll do four working sets because you have to lower the volume near the end of prep and we're a little under four weeks out right now. So it's important to lower the volume a little bit to make sure you're not too fatigued going to the show. Okay guys, so it's time for the incline press. So very easy, chest workouts are one flat press, one incline press, one fly, and that's it. So we're choosing the swim machine incline press now, warming up once or twice, and then moving on straight to the working set. So let's do this. Ah! 
actually that was a little too heavy. Ah. So this is what happens when the carbs are lowered. First movement you're very strong and the second movement strength starts to decline a little bit, but at least we still got a good pump. But all we gotta do now is listen to our body. Don't try it again, lower the weight and that will be my max working set. Okay guys, it is time for the fly. So we're gonna do three to four sets here, I think around three, just like at the incline press, we did three working sets. Here we're starting heavy and going lighter along the way to be able to do at least between 10 and 15 reps. This is not about heavy weights, this is about truly finishing off the chest, filling it up with blood, so let's do this. Okay guys, it's side delt time, always after the chest. The delts are already warmed up. I never train the front, but I do train the side and the rear. The side with the chest and the rear with the back, so let's do this. Three sets in total guys, with the two sets. And in my opinion, you want to do this high rep, high volume, get a lot of blood in there. It's not high weight anyway, so the fatigue isn't really there, but you do put a lot of blood in the muscle. Okay, it's tricep time and for triceps and for every muscle, the stretch mediated hypertrophy is the truth. So uh, tension, stretch under tension of the muscle, that's what causes muscle growth, but also what feels the best. So for me, tricep pushdown is both a combination of something that warms up the tricep, but also something that feels very good in the tricep. So we're starting out with this and uh, that's gonna be four working sets. But first, let's warm up. What you want to do here guys, go all the way up, feel the stretch in the tricep and then go all, go all the way down until you feel a good contraction. If one of those two things doesn't happen, the set is over. Oh, all extension power is gone. So now it is time for a good old dumbbell skull crusher. Alrighty guys, it's time for the skull crushers and for this I like to wear protective measures like uh, elbow sleeve. But this actually I believe is my girlfriend's knee sleeve. But uh, you know, it fits because this is extra small and no way an extra small elbow sleeve would, fill, uh, would fit me, so, but this also works. It's a good brand, so let's get started with a relatively heavy weight because we are not going with light weight in this prep anymore. Heavy, relatively heavy weights, at least 10 reps, let's go.
Okay guys, that was the chest side delt and tricep workout. Normally I would say I'm done in the gym, but unfortunately we still have some cardio to do. Especially since it's a chest day, it's one of my stronger muscle groups. It's no problem to do a little bit of cardio. I have 90 minutes of cardio a day, 45 in the morning. I'll do now 20 and then later on fit in the rest of the cardio before the last meal. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, you know, some relaxing cardio because heart rate is up right now. Blood sugar is low, burn some extra fat. You don't wanna do this in the off season. You always wanna separate cardio from the rest. But right now we're gonna do it post-workout. All right, guys, it's time for the cardio. And you know, you could choose for an elliptical machine like this or a simple stationary bike. Since I already have the stationary bike at home, I like to change it up a little bit with this kind of cardio. Kind of mimics walking, but now you can do it at a more steady pace, a little faster, a little more, uh, you know, less efficient actually than walking. So I'm gonna do this for 20 minutes. And after that, have my post-workout meal, which is along with the breakfast, the only meal of the day that has carbs. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. But first, let's get the fat burning and going. And guys, I really wanna thank you a whole lot for watching the video. A lot more up-to-date content is coming up until the Arnold Classic UK, which I'm very excited for. Really doing my best to bring my A game there. Don't wanna disappoint anyone, especially myself, because uh, in the end, we're doing it to prove to ourselves we are worth the fight for. Just guys, once again, thanks a lot. Check down the description for the full workout. Discount codes for both the supplements and vintagenetics.com. And don't forget to stay golden.